Oh! Mmm! Hey! Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar boy, how you doing? Guess what we're gonna cook today? Pizza pie, here we go! Hey folks, it's Fred Bernardo. How you doing? I'm the smoking guitar player from Fred's Music and Barbecue and Tasty Licks Barbecue Supply in Shillington, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to work on some pizza pie and a pizza. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread out our dough and form it into a pizza and dress it. Now spreading, some people call it pushing. Tony Gemignani in school said pushing. Some people say spreading. Some people call it opening the dough. But I got myself some nice dough balls here. They've been rising for a couple hours. This is Caputo flour. It's a 60% hydration, and they're just looking beautiful. I got some, I got some plastic on there. You don't want that to stick. I put a little oil on. It's just I've still tried to stick, and to uh, to make it so they don't get a skin on them while they're rising. So let's get to work. First, we're gonna put some board flour down here. Now you want pretty much a start, and then we're gonna put. You'll see. I'm gonna push it away. I got a little semolina here. I'll add a little of that too, just for fun. I'm gonna take one of these dough balls out of here. Gently, you don't want to degas it. I'm gonna lay it on there. I'm gonna cover the other one up. That's nice. That's what my grandmother used to say. That's a nice. And flip it over. Maybe again. Make sure she ain't a sticking. Now you don't want too much of this board flour. This is perfect. So I'm gonna kind of push this out of here. Leave a little on there. Now the first thing we do is we make a border with a flat part of our fingers. Just like that. It's perfect. And we flip it over, gently. I don't want to manhandle it. We want to keep that air in the edges. See that? I'm pushing all the air out to the edges. And I'm going to put it back over. And this is going to be the top of our pizza pie. I'm going to push it down in the center here. Now the next step, we're going to push it around here like this. We're going to start stretching that crust. The cornicione. See that? See that, how I'm making that edge? Beautiful. Perfecto. Perfectamente. And we pick it up. I think I need a little flour on there. Getting a little sticky. Do it again. Perfecto. Now when you see a thick spot, you stretch it a little more. Okay? But you want to leave the air in the edges. That's a big thick spot there. Get a little more flour on my hands. Then we pick them up. And now we're going to stretch it like this here. Now while you're doing this, you look through the dough and you look for thin spots and you try and avoid them and you're using your knuckles and you're only stretching the edge, not the middle. The middle takes care of itself. When you get it somewhere about here, you go like this here. You try not to hit the ceiling and do it again. And then you put it down there. Now what we're going to do is, over here, I got my wooden pizza peel. And you want to make sure that this thing is floured good and you don't want to leave your dough on there real long. Now real men, dress their dough right here and then get their metal pizza peel and, and stick it right under there and grab it. But I'm feeling a little wimpy today so I'm going to do it this way but I want to make sure I got flour on there but not excess. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick her up again. Make sure she's a stretched out real nice. Maybe give it a toss and then put it right on there. Fix it a little. What do you think? Looking beautiful? What do you think Toby? Beautiful. We got our nice homemade sauce here, which I showed you how to make probably in another video, hopefully. Now you don't want to put too much sauce. Less is actually better. I know my saying is more is better. But with pizza and toppings, less is actually kind of better. Because if you put too much toppings on, the thing never bakes right. Now, it's a good idea at this point, before that actually, to give it a shake and make sure she's still loose. Then we're going to go for a mozzarella. Not too much, not too thick. Fix it on there nice like the guy does down at the pizza parlor. Try not to throw it on the floor like I just did. And try not to get it on the cornicione. Try to keep it in the center there. Okay? Now that's it. That's a classic Italian pie. Okay? Now what we do here is... 
I got some a little bit of my veggie rub here. Tasty Licks veggie rub. I use that like garlic salt. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Just a little on there. I got it there. And then, if you want, just do like a number six in olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. And then you take your Italian seasoning in a shaker and you shake it on here. Of course, we forgot to bring that down today, so we're not gonna do that. So how about on me? So that's what she looks like. Now give her a shake. Uh-oh, it's starting to stick. The longer you leave it on here, the closer it gets to sticking. So now we're going to take it and we're going to bake it to perfection. We want about 6, 650, and it'll take about 4 or 5 minutes to bake. Okay? See you next time. Okay, so here's our pizza. Keep jiggling it so it doesn't stick, because if it sticks, it's a disaster. We're going to bake it right here with this big green egg. Give me a second here. We're going to clean off the top of that stuff. Yeah. Got a lot of old burnt flour on there. And here we go. Beautiful. Okay, we got 600 degrees, 650, and we got 450 on the stove. It's going to take about four or five minutes, and we'll show you when she's done. So we're maybe a minute or two into it here. Let's take a preliminary look. It's looking pretty good. Now, our stone wasn't real hot, so we might have a little trouble getting this thing to come up to bake on the bottom. But we'll see what happens. We'll check back in a couple minutes. Back. It's about three, four minutes now into our pizza. And, uh, you know, you barbecue guys say if you're looking, you're not cooking. But when you're making pizza, especially on something like this or in a wood-fired oven at high temperatures, you got to play with it a lot. That's one of the rules. You move it around. So let's see what we got here. This is the second glimpse. Oh, beautiful. Is that beautiful or what? Now, you see we got a hot spot here in the front. Over here, we don't. So we're going to spin her around. That's why every time you see these guys with wood-fired ovens, they're always spinning their pizza. There you go. Let's take a look underneath. Looks good, okay? We're going to give it a few more minutes. That's probably good for another three minutes. Then it'll be, like, delectable. Okay, another minute. We're maybe, like, maybe five minutes. What do you think? Five minutes there? Five minutes. That there's Sir Egalot. Take a look at Sir Egalot. Five minutes, he says. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Third look. Oh, -ho, baby. What do you think, boys? Another Beautiful, Fred. Now you see the cheese getting a little brown on the top. Getting a little brown on the bottom. We're going to let it in there a little bit longer yet. I'm going to put a little too much junk on the top. Okay, so we think this is going to be the final look here. Sir Egglot, let's see what we got. Don't forget to burp your egg. Oh, -ho -ho, look at that char on the top. Now... Let me just take a quick look here. Looking about right. Okay. Boys, what nice, do you think? Nice smoking. Job. Smoking and beautiful. So that's so that's what it looks like. Pizza on the egg right here in April in front of our stove. We'll see you next time. So this is pizza number one for today. You just saw us bake it and right here she is. And let's cut it up and see what that crust looks like, what the cornicione looks like. I can't afford one of those fancy wheeled gadgets, so I gotta do it like this here. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Now we're gonna serve our customers some gorgeous pizza to eat. So we'll see you next time. Keep baking your pizza.